Right, time for another little update. Um, I'll try to explain what I've been doing regarding signal generation. Um, first of all, I downloaded some software from the internet, um, Decarta. It's a signal generator, but you can play around with it to simulate certain things, like for instance, the pulse signal from the uh, speed sensor on the gearbox. So, um, first of all, to give you an idea, um, probably hear that as well. It's going through that stereo to those speakers just as a sound indication that's actually sending a pulse and this one is the pulse to the Audi speed sensor and that's the Toyota. Uh, just freeze it up so that's what you've got going through. From there, I send the signal through to the ECUs, um, but what I do is analyze that with a computer a USB oscilloscope. There, there's only four channels going through. That just basically tells me what I've got going into and what the ECU is reading. Um, I've actually disconnected some of this, so I'm not sure if it's going to work, but hang on. Turn that down a bit. So that's basically saying, telling me what's going on. Um, I've actually got four channels connected. Every now and then you'll see a little cutout on the sine wave. That's just a pulse. That's part one. Let's turn that noise off. So, all these signals are sent through all this cabling. And they go to the Toyota ECU and the VEMS ECU which is tucked down there. This is going up behind there. So it's be hidden or just got to move, uh, do the wires. Now that's uh, to give me my RPM. Ooh. On the Toyota dash. Like uh, hold on a second. So I've reconnected the Tire ECU with uh, the Decatur signal. So if I turn that on, that's my pulse signal being sent. Uh, <clears throat> that's just to freeze it off, give you an idea. So you can hear that. That's being sent through to the ECU, and lo and behold, there you go. By <coughs> turn that off. Close tension. Turn it off. Now I can set that at whatever I want. So, there you go. Right, so um, that was just to determine all the signals that were coming through to the tyre ECU. The VEMS ECU, which is the one which is on the Audi, just in the back there, um, I had to replicate that. Uh, because I now I've got all the single signal information, I've been able to do that. So I've got the RPM coming from the Audi. They all talk to each other quite nicely and it revs up and shows the uh, RPM on the gauge as it should be. Next bit, I just want to check the uh, moles per hour, just to make sure that. So I've got replicate the speed signal coming from the ABS ECU and then I should be able to get the um, myelometer to sort of show between 
zero and what's that go up to 100 and 140 yeah so that's the next step i'll be on that in a minute second part of the dash uh, to make sure all the bits of bits and pieces are working is uh the uh got the taco done and the myelometer so i've got to generate a, a signal hang on a second right so basically i'm on the text string which is the Toyota information system that's your diagnostic software which is Toyota based and um, here this is where I've got all the indications about the wheel speeds from the ABS sensors that's how it works out the vehicle speed so I've connected up one of the ABS and from there we should get an indication of speed so first of all I have to generate a signal on my signal generator like so and then I've got uh, the rev counter and the mileometer both showing so there we are and if I just take it off I see both counters go down I know it's upside down, but that's how I'm actually viewing it. Back on. There we have it. So, all my communication is okay. So, the dash, I can now start swapping all my bits and pieces over. And that's it, really.